61A lecture number six, announcements. The hog project is due Thursday. You can earn a bonus point by submitting early on Wednesday. To support you, we're having another project party tonight, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in Corey Hall. We had one last night and it was busy. So expect a few crowds, but we'll have lots of staff on hand in order to help you as fast as we can. We will also have extra staff in office hours all day Thursday. Check the office hours schedule for when office hours are available. At the end of last week and today, we've co we're covering some quite tricky concepts, higher order functions, and today we'll start recursion. If you want extra practice so that you can master these difficult concepts, you should come to our first gorilla section. What's a gorilla section? Well, it's a different format than a typical section because it lasts for three hours. And the idea is that students come from all over campus, gather in Quarry Hall for an intense episode of learning and then disperse back into the campus from whence they came. Um, the point is that you're going to cover these topics again, even though you've seen them already in lab and discussion, but you'll do it in a different format where you work in small groups and um, each group is not allowed to move on to the next problem until everybody in their group understands the solution to the current problem. This is called mastery learning and it can be very effective. So some students find these sections very valuable. They're completely optional, but a good idea if you want a second chance to master the material. Homework three will be posted later today and it's due next Tuesday. Midterm one is next Thursday. Mark your calendars. We hold up midterms in the evening so that we can give you extra time and get enough rooms. It will be held 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in various locations. You will have an assigned seat which you will receive via email on Wednesday. You may bring one two-sided page of handwritten notes that you create yourself. The midterm one review session will be held on Sunday. If you have a course conflict with this exam, please fill out the midterm one conflict form by Sunday so that we can assign you an alternate time. The midterm covers content through this Friday and you'll have more info and practice exams posted later in the week. This semester we're offering two additional units of credit related to 61A. Most students won't take either, but both are available to you. One is what's called an adjunct section. So if you agree to come each week to an adjunct section run by computer science mentors, then you can earn an additional unit to spend more time learning the material. This support tends to be extremely helpful for students, especially those who are feeling like uh, learning the material through the regular lecture, discussion, and lab offerings is a challenge, which is true for many, many students. So here, you'll be able to meet in a small group of four or five students with one of the course tutors or a CS mentor and work through a worksheet full of problems that are meant to prepare you for success on future exams. You can sign up uh, starting today at 5 p.m., but the actual mentoring sections won't begin until the week after the midterm. That's uh, September 19th. So we need to get the scheduling happening now. If that sounds interesting to you, I certainly encourage you to sign up. Another way to earn an additional unit is to agree to come to the additional topic lectures each week. Every week, I'll talk about something that's related to the course content, but completely optional. This week, I'll talk about how you can use higher order functions to implement Newton's method, a calculus topic for solving problems that are differentiable. You can attend these optional lectures whenever you want, but if you want to agree to attend them all and do some extra homeworks, you can sign up for the additional topic course, which is a one unit pass fail course. Um, that just means you're going to attend all the topics. Now for both computer science mentors and the additional topics courses, that unit is actually not available on Cal Central right now. 
due to some scheduling backlog issues. We're trying to resolve that as soon as possible, but you can start participating now. So the first additional topics lecture will be held today at 5 p.m. If you want, you can just watch videos of this lecture um, instead of attending. I, we don't have a permanent room yet, and we need a larger room than the one I was able to get today, so this may be totally overfilled, at which point, please be patient and just watch the videos instead if you want to learn about that content. And hopefully, we'll have a permanent room by next week. I will say that the additional topics lectures are meant for students who have a strong mastery of the core course material already because they tend to move pretty fast and just play with the ideas that we've developed in lecture already. It's not a good place to go if you're looking for a review or a better understanding of material that's already been covered in lecture. The adjunct sections are much better for that.